and welcome to another FAQ Monday. I'm your host, Fluff, and Merry Christmas, everybody. This is, I think this is the first FAQ Monday to ever actually fall on Christmas Day. And from me to you, sincerely, all joking aside, I hope you all have a happy holiday. And thank you. Thank you for the wonderful year. If you've watched, liked, disliked, left a snarky comment, all of it. If you've wasted any energy on watching anything of mine, thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a great year. 2018 is going to be even better. And I'm also wearing a really stupid Christmas sweater. But I have a Rick and Morty mug, so it's all good. First question! What did you think about The Last Jedi? I thought it was pretty good. Now, there will be no spoilers, so don't worry. You don't have to fast forward or anything like that. I will not give away any spoilers. I will say that there were a number of things and inconsistencies and plot holes and unnecessary filler in the movie. However, the fight scenes kind of outweighed everything. I mean, for me personally, I don't know. I thought it was a good movie overall. Uh, definitely not the best. It was no Empire Strikes Back, if you know what I'm saying. But overall, good movie. It's uh, definitely worth seeing in the theaters. Go see it in theaters if you want to see it just even a little bit. It's so worth it. Definitely go see The Last Jedi. It's awesome and well worth your time. Mark V or Dual Rectifier if you could play only one? Um, That's kind of a tough call. It just depends on the genre of music and what your style is and what your own personal taste is. The Mark V is an amazing amp. I personally have gone back to the rectifier. The multi-watt rectifier is now in my road case uh, because it has a number of features that I just find incredibly useful uh, in my setup, namely the master volume and the solo function and the master mute are all very, very handy. It has a tuner out on the back. Like it's just, it's just a really awesome amp. Just personal preference though, I would say if you're choosing between the Mark V or the Dual Rectifier, either way, you're gonna come out on top. But, you know, if you're gonna go more rhythm styled, I would definitely choose the Dual Rectifier. If you're gonna go more lead style, definitely go for the Mark V because uh, it's just a tighter amp overall and more suited for lead kind of work. Thoughts on Joe Bonamassa's recent comments about guitar players using pedals? Uh, <laughs> I knew this would come up eventually, so I'm just gonna head it off and we're gonna get to the bottom of this right away. And what he said, if you're not familiar, Joe Bonamassa recently did an interview and he was asked why he has stripped back his, uh, what was, was a formerly extensive pedal board into just like one or two pedals. And he said and stated that guitar players that use pedals are effing lazy. Now, there's a few sides to this. Was it kind of in a contextual conversation that he was having in regards to that? Yes. Was he commenting on the overall picture and how people look to pedals to do things for them that they could easily do themselves if they just refined, you know, things like technique or their mastery of the tone knob? Sure. Also, do I think that sometimes when you give an interview, uh, you're jet lagged, you've been traveling a lot, and you're feeling kind of snarky, and you say offhanded things that maybe you haven't really thought out. Sure, I have certainly done that on FAQ Mondays, for example. Not that I'm comparing myself to Joe Bonamassa, but I'm just saying we all can say stupid things. And as ev he recognizes this as evidenced by recently posting an Instagram video of his Black Country Communion setup, which has a huge pedal board, and he said, yeah, yeah, I'm being lazy. Like, he gets it. And Joe is a very smart guy, but you know what? Sometimes you just say stupid stuff. I think it's really all it, boil all, all it boils down to. And who cares what Joe thinks if you're lazy, if you use a pedal or pedal board or something like that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Use your pedals. And if you don't want to use pedals, then don't use pedals. It's all good. We're all on the same musical football team anyway, right? What do you think about albums that have a bad sound as an artistic choice? That's actually an interesting question because it's not happening as much as it was kind of like a decade ago. 
Uh, the album that comes to my mind is John Mayer's uh, Heavier Things. The album was completely crushed and obliterated sonically on purpose. There's a lot of distortion on the output of that album. And the only reason why that album comes to mind is because my uncle was running a mastering studio at that time. And he was like, check this album out. Like the songs are amazing. The guitar playing is amazing, but sonically everything is really distorted. Um, I believe Metallica did that on Death Magnetic. More often than not, that's actually a record company decision. And you know, maybe at that time, it was just like kind of the thing to do. I am not sure. I am not a huge fan of it. I don't like it. And I can't name a, an album particularly that's come out recently that has been as distorted as Death Magnetic or, you know, Stadium Arcadium on the CD version, not the vinyl, um, or or the Mayor record. I, I don't really, can't say I really hear that a lot these days. However, you know, unless you're the white stripes or you know something like that or the black keys you should uh, probably make your stuff sound as good as you possibly can but uh you know what again if it's an artistic choice then uh, do what you think is best for your music and now fluff reads a tweet the weight of my shampoo bottle determines how much shampoo i use My suggestion to you this week is to check out this incredible video of Billy Corgan kind of explaining the genesis of the brand new op amp Big Muff from Electro Harmonics. They basically took his original Siamese Dream uh, V4 op amp Big Muff Pi and reissued it in a much smaller housing with true bypass. And my, uh, my buddy Jim at Reverb said, who shot the video, said they a b the actual siamese dream big muff versus the new op amp uh pedal and they couldn't tell the difference unless the tone and the treble was all the way up and who runs it like that anyway but he said it was just it was dead on and incredibly impressive especially when you consider that the pedal is 70 bucks and yes mine is on the way i'm getting one very soon it's gonna be awesome all the links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.